Hey guys, RTT back here for that video. Guys, today we're going to be talking about the Android 12L update on the Surface Duo 1 and 2 because now I have switched from my iPhone back to my Surface Duo 2. How do I feel after 24 hours of making this my daily driver again? Is it worth it with the update? Let's go ahead and talk about it. So, starting off right away, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to Michael Cohen. Okay, I'm going to butcher your name, man. I'm going to call you Michael C. He always comments on my videos, by the way. I, I really do appreciate everyone who does comment on my videos all the time. And I see the same name over and over again. And I actually do like that. But he said, it is a huge win. The list of new features is tiny. People were expecting this to be a transformative. And honestly, other than a new pen menu on the Surface Duo, there really isn't any major change. No theme icons, no taskbar, no icon pack. No resizing the grid, no customizing gestures. I feel like given the weight of the expectation, this was pretty underwhelming. <laughs> and he is right. He is absolutely right. And this is the issue whenever it comes to, you know, building up hype for anything, right? <laughs> whenever you build up hype for anything, a new phone comes out, a new graphics card comes out, you know, a, a, a new PC comes anything, right? In your head, you will never, ever, ever be able to live up to the expectations that are in your head. Because in your head, you're thinking, I'm going to get this new item. I'm going to get this new update. And it's going to completely change the ball game when it comes to this phone, right? At the end of the day, I absolutely love the Surface Duo 2s. And again, I've not used the Duo 1s as much. I'll admit it. I've used the Duo 2 strictly. When it comes to the uh, update of Android 12 L, <laughs> I love it. And yeah, there is a lot of things that they need to add on to <laughs> with 12 L. But I think what we're missing, right? is a couple things. Number one is 12 L is a stepping stone. <laughs> it's not the final completion. You know, I like to think of this phone, the Surface Duo 1, 2, and now obviously 3 coming out next year, as a marathon. <laughs> and Microsoft has been running this marathon, but they have been giving up on it halfway through every single time, right? They've been kind of cheating, they've been taking shortcuts in this marathon, trying to find ways to, you know, just absolutely win themselves. And... <laughs> We have been caught. We caught them on the bull crap. We've called them out on the bull crap, and now with them actually releasing Android 12L before the end of the year and actually following through on their promise, that's a good stepping stone right there. Okay, that's step one. Step two, yes, with this update, it really was about the aspect of trying to push out the more business professionals and i said this in my last video this is going to be who they're targeting moving forward okay we had a moment where they targeted the tech industry it failed then they targeted the xbox game pass industry it failed then they targeted the flagship market it failed now they're trying to target the business market so stuff like stuff that involves just the pen menu that's going to be, you know, that's going to be something that we're going to see them kind of push more. Because if you're a business professional, that's just simply what you're going to be looking for is the ability to go ahead and have that. Now, I actually have right here, I have um, the Surface Duo 2 running on Android 11, uh, not Android 12L. But here's a big issue that people have been saying about is the file manager on here uh, is now going and missing. And they not get they can't transfer the files. Um, I will say just a keynote because someone actually did comment this, and it's actually very true. There is a million different file managers all over the Play Store. I've been seeing this comment over and over again. That's why I'm talking about it. Um, there's been there's tons and tons and tons of Play Store file managers. If you are having an issue and you cannot transfer your files anymore, uh, just a just a side note there. But after 24 hours. What's my opinion of Android 12L? Is it all the hype? Is it worth everything that is, is meant to be? And I kind of feel like this, right? I kind of feel like going into 12L, I wasn't expecting too, too much. 
I was expecting the simple Android 12 upgrades, which of course gave us the personalization, gave us the ability to actually go ahead and have, you know, correct wallpaper with the color scheme, which I honestly love. I was expecting it, the security updates. I was expecting it, all the Android 12, 12s background stuff that goes on that is really useful and nice. I got all that. You also get some Windows S vibes to it, which is a nice little touch. I'm going to give you that. That's a nice little touch. But like I said before, the reason why I'm not like, oh my God, like, and again, Michael was right. Michael is absolutely right. If this was the end game of the Surface Duo 2, this would be a what the fluff or did you just release? You just had the golden ticket in your hand and you fumbled the bag and it went down the drain and you're, you're looking at it right now as Pennywise is dancing on it. The sad part is for the Surface Duo 1, this is probably the end game. So was that disappointing for the Duo 1? Yes and no. Um, the fact that we even got Android 12 out on the Duo 1 is absolutely an accomplishment. I think that's absolutely a W. That really shows how much the community pushed back against Microsoft and said, listen, I'm, we're tired of being lied to. We're tired of spending $1,500 on the phone for the next week it to be $600. And then they limit down the Surface Duo 2 to $1,000 and then jack the price right back up to $1,500 with this update. <laughs> for the Duo 1, it is in the bed and it is sleeping. But for the Duo 2, this, like I said before, is a stepping stone. We're probably not going to get Duo 3 until sometime in August of next year. So this kind of lays the fabric down slash ability down to actually give us more updates in the next couple months and adding new features. Now, right now, we only have the pen feature. Obviously, that's awesome. Right now, we have a very limited amount of features. <clears throat> Microsoft needs to push forward and continue to give us features and here's what i'd like to say right <laughs> when android 10 was on the duo one there's only so much they could add to android 10 before it was just simply we can't add anything else okay guys we're limited to android 10 we can't add anything else then when you add android 11 on the duo one and obviously the duo two launched with android 11 now you open up Pandora's box. You add so much more feature size abilities to add to this device. Now you have Android 12. So every time they give us a brand new software, think of it like this. We're starting back at the beginning, right? So like, let's say you have a download bar, right? You have zero to 100 download bar. We were at 97% with Android 11. We're now back at 0% with Android 12. So, and obviously 12 L my bad. Um, but overall wise, like I said, after 24 hours, I do love it. I do love the surface zero too though. And it, it just really does come down to that. I saw a great comment. Somebody said, it's just, it feels more stable. It feels more like, you know, just more premium. And I think that's really what this was all about, right? It is the first step of this releasing on the duos is pretty much just trying to make this all more stable and more just capable, right? <laughs> We're not going to get all the crazy features right away. And it kind of sucks because I feel like as a, you know, as a really supportive community around this, these phones, the Surface Duo 1, Surface Duo 2, Microsoft does owe us, you know, they owe us to give us all the features at once. They give us all this crazy stuff at once. But the sad part is, that's just simply not going to work. Because what they're going to do is they're going to drag this out. And I was kind of hoping they wouldn't do this, but they're going to drag this out. And over the next couple months, they're going to give us feature after feature after feature. And it's going to keep each month really exciting and being like, oh my God, what, what are we getting this month? What are we getting this month? What are we getting here? What are we getting there? Right? So it's actually exciting we're getting new features every single month, but <clears throat> this is how it's going to work. It's kind of, you know, the game we're playing right now with Microsoft. The ball's in their hands, and right now they're playing, you know, very slow and methodical. 
they're going to try to drag this out so many 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 people buy the surface zero two and then they'll drop the surface zero three with all these features so again like I said was the launch in l i don't think so i think the launch for the duo two was a w depending on the direction forward because there's a lot Microsoft can do with this right now. They just have to do it. <laughs> also, I want Microsoft to do is actually add Android 12L to the um, Surface Duo 2's emulator here. Because I would love to be able to actually go ahead and run uh, Surface Duo 2 at Android 12L on this one. So we can actually really break it down even more on the computer. I do like uh, breaking it down with this emulator. Just overall wise, one of my favorite emulators on uh out there but and like i said this is running android and by the way that's not my number just a key tip here it is running android 11. uh also guys real side note here i am sorry if i i, I am sick so i saw if i my voice is absolutely destroyed but um yeah it's just kind of a gesture of you know making videos on three channels every single day you lose your voice eventually right uh, but with that being said, guys, if you did enjoy this video, hit that like, subscribe down below. I was trying to find, actually, yeah, I was trying to find Android 12 or like Android 11, like the actual thing to pop up. I saw, I, I found it earlier. I don't know why I can't find it right now. But yeah, so anyway, it is running Android 11. Uh, but again, like I said, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.